Wapaka man and a New Hampshire woman are recovering from multiple gunshot wounds tonight. They are the victims of an overnight home invasion that happened in a quiet neighborhood just west of the main turnpike in Saco. WMTW News 8's Paul Merrill joining us live now with more. Investigators are still here processing the scene more than 15 hours after one of the victims called police to say he had been shot. As night turned into day and back to night, we kept getting a clearer picture of the horrifying scene that played out inside here. Police crime scene tape and Christmas decorations crisscrossed the front of the home at 25 Hillview Ave in Saco. Police say sometime before 3 a.m., an intruder forcibly entered the home. The homeowners, Stephen and Carol Shabbat, each 55 years old, woke up, and when they confronted the armed intruder, hid in separate rooms. The intruder shot Stephen Shabbat and the Shabbat's house guest, 55 year old Rachel Owens of Londonderry, New Hampshire, several times each. Police say Carol Shabbat hid under some furniture and wasn't hurt. Saco Police Chief Brad Paul says this was not a random home invasion. Here's what he said when we asked him if police had had previous dealings with the people inside the house. The people that reside in the home are, have no kind of connection of the type that somebody might imply would happen from a home invasion. I think that is safe, not only safe to say, but probably should be said at this point in time. They're just homeowners that live in that neighborhood. People who live in this quiet neighborhood are stunned by what happened overnight. I feel for the, for the Shabbats. They're good people. They've lived here a long time. Matt LeBlanc lives a few houses away from the spot where police spent the day collecting evidence. Can you think of any reason they would have been targeted? No, I can't think of any reason at all that anyone would be targeted around here, to be quite honest with you. That feeling of uneasiness will likely linger here for a long time. It's just sad to see things like this happen in a small community, a community that don't, doesn't really lock their doors, but I know that we'll start locking our doors now. Police tell us Stephen Shabbat and Rachel Owens are recovering at Maine Med. The hospital is not releasing updates on their conditions. We also know that police over in Londonderry, New Hampshire, are part of this investigation, but so far no one has been arrested. Live in Saco tonight, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.